Hey guys, today we are going over the foam roller lateral quad and IT band release. So if you go to a Globo gym or something like that, you might see people actually using these foam rollers for this, uh, but they're probably not doing it quite right. Oftentimes you'll see people just flying up and down, wee, all the way up and all the way down, just back and forth, super fast and huge movements. Um, I mean, while they're getting pressure on their IT band and lateral quad, they're not being precise and taking the time that they need to really kind of delve into that tissue mobility. Um, you know, the, the lateral quad and the IT band that kind of spans all around the outside of our thigh has a real tendency to get sticky and bogged down and adhere to each other. That can be a culprit of a lot of knee pain, a lot of hip pain, and even some back pain. Uh, so it's it's really important this when we use the the foam roller, you know It's different than the lacrosse ball where there's more of a broad surface, right? So instead of being a, a Pressure point kind of technique where you're using some like one point to really push into the muscle This is using more of a broad surface to really try to kind of manipulate that tissue and really kind of push it around and and kind of be uh, more more broad really to just kind of uh, release all those adhesions. So if I were to use my hand as though the, the, the foam roller were doing the work, we're really trying to kind of press that tissue away from itself, kind of, kind of almost like you're picking it up and moving it and shifting it and sliding it around. So essentially it's, it's more of this kind of a movement as opposed to just someone sticking their elbow uh, in one little spot. So I want you to think about that as you go through this activity. So you're gonna be on a flat surface, take that foam roller. I like to start up towards my hip here. So you can see how I'm kind of on my side. I'm supporting myself with, you can see how I'm kind of got this leg rested down on the ground. I've got this foot kind of flat on the floor. I'll go this way so I have more room away from the wall. I like to start on my, kind of on my, close to my hip here. Um, I start with this leg behind my straight leg, the one that I'm rolling on first, and I just kind of hang out there, kind of find some spots. Again, you're not going to see me rolling up and down, up and down, up and down. Right now, I've already got good pressure on the lateral part of my quad and even a little bit of my hamstring, that IT band. I'm pressing my hip down so that the weight is right on the spot where that roller is, right? You can kind of see me rocking a little bit this way rocking a little bit that way. You can even kind of almost like dig your, your hip into it and kind of, again, like I was showing with my hands, kind of push that tissue out of the way a little bit. So maybe spending a good couple of breaths in this position. Then I'm gonna take this leg and go over my straight leg and kind of rotate my hips so that they're more towards the ground and do the same thing, right? So now I'm still at the same level close to my hip but I'm working some different tissues, right? So more towards the top of my thigh uh, than the side, right? So again, I'm kind of just shifting back and forth, pushing those tissues out of the way. Then a third position still, I'm, all, I'm still by my hip here, but I'm gonna roll even further over. If I tuck my shirt in here, you can see what I'm doing. Even further over so that now that foam roller is really on the top of my thigh and it might even be hitting some t part of the inside of my thigh a little bit, right? Good, so again, just kind of shifting back and forth, right? A few breaths in each position. From here, that's when you shift maybe about an inch this way so the roller comes further down, closer to your knee on your leg. You can kind of see how it's shifted down a little bit. And then you go through the same process, right? So this shouldn't take it shouldn't be a quick process, right? This should take a good couple of minutes. You should be spending a few breaths at each position, right? So facing the floor. Now I'm gonna kind of rotate up a little bit. Do the same thing, couple breaths, and then I'll sit back. You can even again, flip this leg back over and kind of work towards almost like the back of your thigh, the side and the back. Good, and from here, we're gonna move again, shifting this way, just about an inch or two. So now again, same exact process. Each time I'm doing this, I'm just shifting closer and closer to my, I'm shifting the, the roller closer and closer to my knee, right? And each place you're gonna feel stickiness in different ways. Again, shifting and kind of ro rocking back and forth. Now I'm gonna lift this leg up and over, roll forward a little bit, right? And then that third position uh, facing even further down. So a few breaths in each position, you're gonna slowly work your way up until 
inch by inch, you know, maybe a couple inches at a time until that roller is right by your knee. Again, do the same process, just above your knee. One, two, and then three all the way over. All right? Uh, it's, like I said, this whole process for the entire leg should take you a good five to sometimes even 10 minutes once you've built up some tolerance. But give it a try and let us know how it goes.